Hi, uh, today I will cover service step uh, pattern. This service step uh, design pattern belongs to base patterns and this base patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First we will see the explanation of uh, service step uh, pattern. This is the explanation. Removes dependence upon problematic services during testing. Uh, we will see the one example so that you will understand uh, the sentence. So here you can uh, see uh, charge generator and interface uh, tax service and it has uh, get tax info method this interface is implemented by uh, uh, web service ACME tax service and uh, this get tax info method provide implementation of this tax service uh, interface uh, method get tax info and uh, another class tax service tab uh, this uh, provide implementation of this uh, get tax info method okay uh, in real time scenario uh, this charge uh, charge generator will call um, get tax info method of uh, this ACMA tax service uh, and uh, it will do some calculation in real time uh, suppose uh, during our development process uh, this ACMA tax service is not available uh, then what we can do is uh, we can uh, we no need to wait for uh, that ACME tax service maybe uh, it will be delivered next month or uh, two months after that but we have to, currently we have to finish our development work so in that case what we can do is we can write a service tab so it is like a mock object uh, so uh, that mock object will provide implementation of get uh, get tax info method okay so the charge generator instead of calling acme tax service get uh, tax info it will call uh, get tax info method of uh, tax service tab and uh, we can uh, we can write our uh, business logic and we can finish our uh, development process so this is the concept okay uh, now if you read uh, this one you will understand removes dependence upon problematic services during testing so during testing uh, we are we have uh, removed this problematic service and provided mock object using mock object we have uh, finished the development uh, process okay uh, second point replacing the service during testing with a service step that runs locally fast and in memory improves your development experience so what we have done is we have removed this uh, service service during testing uh, with the this service step uh, this runs locally and fast and uh, in memory and uh, in in this way we can improve the uh, our development uh, experience okay that is what the second point says and uh, third point is service step actually a uh, mock original third party or remote services so it mocks the original uh, uh, remote service okay so if you see uh, both as get tax uh, info method so it mocks the original third party or remote service and generally used for testing and development purposes so generally this service step will be used for uh, testing and the uh, development purposes but real time we can't use service step okay it also known as mock object another name of uh, service step is uh, mock object and fourth point is we can use when when you are using third party web service that are beyond our control so like i explained if uh, the third party uh, web service or third party remote service is not available and we don't know when it will be delivered that time uh, we can uh, go for this uh, service step uh, pattern okay and uh, next point is service step is uh, generally implemented with the help of uh, gateway so with the help of uh, gateway design pattern uh, we can develop this uh, service step uh, uh, pattern so i have created separate uh, uh, video for uh, gateway design pattern uh, you can log into my channel and watch so that you will understand clearly and uh, i will give uh, what is gateway here so you can see a consumer application which call gateway and this gateway will decide whether to call a live service or service step based on some condition written in the gateway so okay and next point is the gateway is a separated interface rather than a class so this is the interface uh, it is not a class so you can have one implementation that call the real service and another implementation which call the service step 
so gate will be the uh, interface uh, so we can provide two kind of implementation one implementation will call the uh, real web service and another implementation will call the uh, service tab okay so how our code will be in the gateway so it will be look like this okay so in the gateway uh, so gateway object is there uh, in the property file we can uh, define uh, type uh, if uh, type is live service uh, then uh, it will go to this if, if class and uh, the gateway will have uh, live service uh, gateway uh, gateway object and uh, if uh, if we define uh, this as uh, service tab then it will go to this help, else part and uh, this gateway super class will have uh, service tab uh, gateway object as the service tab gateway object is assigned to the gateway super class object okay uh, so this gateway dot get tax info based on uh, uh, based on live service or service step it will call the appropriate uh, object uh, method and it will provide the uh, result okay suppose uh, this gateway uh, this gateway object uh, contains uh, live service gateway then it will call the real uh, re uh, real uh, web service and uh, get the tax information suppose uh, this gateway object uh, contains service step uh, gateway then it will call the mock object uh, get tax info uh, method and uh, that mock object get tax info method will provide the result using uh, then uh, using that result it will do some calculation okay so it is like that so this gate in this gateway we are deciding based on this uh, uh, property file value so if in the property file value if it is live service then it will call the live service uh, get tax info if the property file if we define uh, uh, service step then uh, the gateway will call the service step uh, get tax get tax info and uh, it will proceed okay and uh, the last uh, sentence is the desired implementation of the gateway should be loaded using a plugin so using a plugin this uh, which implementation we have to call whether we have to call the live service or service step uh, using the plugin design pattern i have created a, a separate video for plugin design pattern please log into my channel and watch so that you will understand what is plugin design pattern okay so now if you read this first point you can understand removes dependence upon problematic services during testing so we have removed a problematic service during testing using the service step okay and uh, this is about uh, service step uh, design pattern uh, and thanks for watching bye